Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and today I'm going to be smoking the Romeo y Julieta Envy. And the Envy is a follow-up to the 2020 release of the Romeo y Julieta Eternal, which had the beautiful black with red banding, along with the traditional Romeo y Julieta gold. And the Romeo y Julieta Eternal, when it was released, retailed for $15. This is a $17.50 MSRP cigar. I paid $19 at my local brick and mortar here in Las Vegas. Altidas teamed up with Placencia and created an all Nicaraguan puro to showcase some of the versatility 6x55 Parejo and then MSRP of $17.50, production of only 100,000 cigars coming in boxes of 11, so 9,090 boxes. A little bit of flintiness, probably from that Ometepe. They have that mineral flinty pepper, or uh, that mineral flinty kind of uh, permanent marker note. So far off the initial light up, there's a ton of black pepper that's coming in through the retro, along with on the palate. Mixture of black coffee, leather, a little bit of cedar, touch of oak. We're gonna dive into the first third and I'll be back. Smoking on down the first third here, about 15 minutes in, 20 minutes in, and so far, I mean, you can see the burn line has been absolutely immaculate. Coming from Placencia's factory, can only expect the very best. And this is a fantastic collaboration so far. Burn has been fantastic. Flavors, the black coffee, the black pepper, all of those hearty mineral earth notes have kind of just evened out. And it happened within like the first three to five minutes of smoking the cigar. Everything like started off really sharp on the, on the initial lighting. And then it just entered into this plethora of what Placencia and Placencia tobacco is known for. Creamy notes, nutty components, definitely marzipan almond notes ton of like almost this buttery note has kind of uh, transcended in after moving through the first third and kind of getting into the end of the first third. The actual smoke texture, the length on the finish, everything is working well. Beautiful Romeo y Julieta Envy. And man, what fantastic flavors on this second third. Just transitions between both the coffee, marzipan, nutty components, little hints of caramel, underlying sweetness of this caramel, almost honey kind of note that has come in to the fold. Replace that oak and mineral component that we had most likely off of the Ometepe, if there is any Ometepe in this one, like there was in the original The Eternal. But so far, I mean, this is living up to the price point. It's living up to the collaboration between Altadas and Placencia. And it's just, it's an absolutely fantastic smoke. I was kind of blown away when I saw the fact that it was a limited edition Romeo and that, you know, the price point that it was at, I initially was a little sticker shock. Coming home and doing some research and realizing that it comes from Placencia, it's a limited run that they do for Altidas in collaboration with them. I mean, this this is exactly how the, the company that releases so many of these traditional homage labels is able to compete, right? And there's a reason why a lot of these cigar reviews, Hoya de Monterey, in collaboration with Lugione, that I really enjoyed, the Romeos that have been coming out, some of the other traditional Cuban brands, right, that have gone to these master blenders and to these families that are purveyors and producers and farmers of some of the best tobaccos in the world are competing on the stage, on the level that they are. So, so far, Absolutely fantastic. I think that, you know, we're gonna wait until we get into the final third for a pairing idea. I mean, I immediately think that just like a lot of the other Placencia cigars, achieving such great balance and having smooth transitions, having signature flavors, but also having a plethora of different flavor wheel components that you can pair with multiple things. This is one of those cigars that has all of those and has it in volumes. The black pepper on the retro hail is present, it's tame, it creates a nice long finish along with that caramel sweetness, the black coffee, the marzipan almond, just all working in sync, all working together to create an absolutely fantastic smoking experience. So I'm gonna remove the band. We're gonna get down to the final third, some overall impressions and some pairing ideas to finish up. We are just finishing up the final third on our Romeo y Julieta Envy. And this final third finishing up with all those concentrated flavors of marzipan almond, 
the rich caramel notes, that honey underlying sweet layer, the black coffee, all of those wonderful components mixed together, I think that you absolutely can go with the same pairing on the Placencia Eduardo with this and grab yourself some Grand Marnier. You can make yourself a wonderful cognac-based sidecar, I think would be a fantastic and phenomenal cocktail with this. You can also go the non-alk route and grab yourself some of the Coke coffee and the vanilla, the mocha, or even the original dark blend. And that's gonna be a fantastic pairing. Those of you that are like me, that appreciate the Diet Dr. Pepper, as my sign is kind of, uh, my sign is kind of out of whack, but the Dr. Peppers of the world, all of those wonderful beverages, the colas. What I really want the most is I want just like a cappuccino or a latte of some kind, even a flat white, you know, something with a little bit of milk fat to it, as well as that beautiful, you know, espresso coffee, I think would be fantastic too in the non out variety. I think that this is a box worthy stick. At boxes of $11 coming in right at, you know, that $200 price range, the or box of $11, boxes of 11 cigars coming in at that $200 price range, this makes a very affordable $17 smoke because you can buy a whole entire box for under 200 bucks. Because with 11 sticks, you can smoke three of them as soon as you get them, you can age the rest, smoke them year over year over year. And I think this is gonna be a phenomenal cigar a year down the road, an even better one three years down the road. It, it has such, great little nuanced flavors in this blend. I cannot wait to see how this cigar develops. And I truly think that this is the first Altidas cigar that I have smoked on the channel that is box worthy. And it comes as no surprise, you know, I'm a Placencia fanboy, self-admitted <laughs> for a reason. Their blends and their flavors, especially when it comes to the certain wrappers that they use, the Colorado Claro line, obviously the Almafortes are always significant to me. And that's what this really tastes like. It tastes like that beautiful Colorado Claro flavor, along with a nice mixture and a nice tweak in the blend that Placencia and Altadas did to create a truly exceptional smoke. So box worthy stick coming, Romeo y Julieta Envy, this is, this has piqued my interest and I definitely want to try the Eternal if I can find them and feature that on the channel. It's been a few years and I know that that was a limited run, so it's probably gonna be a little bit harder for me to find, but the Envy, it's out now. I would totally recommend you go out there, try it, and if you love it like I do, it's a box-worthy stick, hands down. One of the best Romeo and Juliet's at non-Cubans that I have ever smoked. So, shout out to Altadas and Placencia for this beautiful collaboration. I thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, continuing to grow the community here at Master Your Ash, and I look forward to catching you again for another Romeo Julieta cigar.